when you look at certain guys that play those positions, Tom Brady's my favorite. Um, even when trying to pull tape on Joe Burrow, there isn't, you know, I tried to put a highlight video of one of Joe Burrow's playoff games. I couldn't do it. There was, there was no 20, 30 yard passes. It was just three yard pass, eight yard pass, you know, a couple yard run, 10 yard pass, four yard pass. It's just, it's like cutting you with a knife, but the knife's a little sharper than Tom Brady had. It, it's meticulous and they just take what the defense gives them. I believe at, at some point, if you're going to look at a long-term outlook here, you need a guy at the quarterback position that is going to be capable of just taking whatever the defense gives them. You need to be able to read the defenses and process it. And I, it's Justin Fields' third year. There's a lot of concern that this isn't clicking in his head. I mean, stats are very comparable to Mitch Trubisky. Mitch Trubisky actually has a better stats if you look at the numbers. You know, I test will tell us that, of course, Fields is a much, much, much better, more experienced athlete. But it's, you know, the results are the results. I think if it keeps going the way it's going, I think what's most likely to happen is, and it was my bold prediction that Fields is going to start all 17 games. Yeah, <laughs> throw that out the window. He's, he's going to get hurt. He's going to get hurt. He's taken so many sacks, over, or even over his career. He's one of the most sack quarterbacks. I believe he's taken like a total of over 100 sacks. Well, Patrick Mahomes has taken maybe nearly half that in the same time span. Um, I want to say David Carr has the re- – no, Andrew Luck has the most sacks through like seven years of a career, and Justin Fields is on pace to double it. 